Hey, what's up everyone? Jace 2 Cents here. I'm gonna bring you another video, kind of a quick, easy video that's de deserving of a full video rather than a short, so you can get some details on this, of a piece of free software that absolutely everybody needs to have. Like seriously, don't wait. When I'm done with this video, go and download it. It's not sponsored or anything. It's just something that we've been using now that Phil's been using. I just kind of learned about, you guys probably already know, but it will literally be a lifesaver. Trust me on that. Hey, Day. Day. Mm. Day. What? We got work to do. Yeah, I'm playing World of Warships. Yeah. World of Warships is the free-to-play naval strategy game where you command the most iconic and famous warships from World War I and World War II recreated with stunning detail and accuracy. Build your fleet while participating in various game types while upgrading your ship's arsenal along the way. New players who sign up using my link below will receive an exclusive starter pack to get you up and running quickly by receiving 7 days premium time, 1 million credits, 300 doubloons, and the tier 5 premium ship, the Exeter. So what are you guys waiting for? Start sinking ships with World of Warships by heading to the description below and getting your freebies. So once again, this is not a sponsored video. They don't know I'm doing this, but the reason why I'm saying to go and install it today is anytime we've done a video about a piece of free software that does something amazing, so many people go and download it that the brand catches wind that like, hey, suddenly there's major downloads now. What, what happened? They'll find our video and they'll be like, oh, hey, and then they'll take the feature that we like and put it behind a paywall. So that's why I'm saying not to wait, even if you decide you don't want it later, because if it ends up behind a paywall, that's gonna suck. Um, but anyway, I am talking about Revo Uninstaller. Now you might be going, oh, whatever, Jay. So Microsoft's built-in uninstaller in Windows t tends to leave behind a lot of files, a lot of registry um, files and such that never get completely removed. And I think the reason why they do that is if there's ever a reinstall in the future, there's less it has to unpack. It just sort of updates files that are necessary, but all the root stuff in the directory, a lot of DLLs and stuff get left behind. So. As your OS gets older and older and older, you'll find start to have lots and lots of, the, uh, lots of these remnants left over of pieces of software. Now with SSDs, it's not as big of a deal because of the fact that that would lead to like dry, dry fragmentation on spinning drives. Not so much of an issue today, but you can still have a lot of OS slowdowns, slower startups because of all of these DLLs and stuff that get loaded that are completely unnecessary on pieces of software that might've been uninstalled. But more importantly, what this fix, if you recall a few videos back, uh, several videos over the past, I've showed how on our cursor, you uh, can't really see it now, we had a forever spinning thinking wheel. Like it was just nonstop going. And I was like, I don't know what the heck that is. You notice it's not going right now. So what I was able to find by doing like, you know, control alt or control shift escape and then looking at the processes was I was able to find, and you see there's all kinds of stuff installed right now, index T cam, IQ, Microsoft, or not Microsoft, but um, Armory Crate, all that stuff. I'm gonna show you how much junk it's left behind. But there was one installer, like one driver installer, it was like A0I103ASUS, whatever. It was an ASUS installer that for whatever reason, like got stuck. And if I would close the process or end the process, it would just restart itself. And if I went into add or remove programs and tried to delete the ASUS Armory Crate stuff, it would tell me that it, it erred and it couldn't uninstall. So I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. So this is when Phil said, hey, I use a program called Revo Uninstaller, and I'm gonna show you right now just how awesome this is. So the typical way of uninstalling a program is you'd go to Add, Re Add Remove Programs, right? You'd find it in your list, and ASUS installs so much crap. You see, we got Armory Crate, Armory Crate Light Service, ASUS Framework, ASUS Motherboard, ASUS Creator, ASUS Lighting Effects Add-on, ASUS Aura Effect Add-on, ASUS Service, right? So much stuff. Now I could just go in here and try and uninstall these one at a time, but the problem is that it actually leaves a lot of crap behind. In fact, let me show you as an example. I'll go ahead and do it right here. So if I go to uninstall on Armory Crate, this app is related, to, will be uninstalled. Okay, so that's done now. And you can see we're kind of left with like the ASUS framework and the ASUS motherboard. Oh, and the anime enemy matrix, that's also ASUS stuff. Anyway, there's a better way to do this. So if we use Revo Uninstaller, I wanna show you right now that if I search here by install date or install, it's gonna constantly scan the system and find all the installed files, right? But we can search by company. Let's just sort by ASUS. Look at all this ASUS stuff right here. So if I was to, virtual pet, right? So all this crap. So if we just kind of search for ASUS here, we can right click and click uninstall. I don't know why it's like, look at this. Do you see like 
This is only what started after <laughs> trying to uninstall Asus. It's like completely freaking out, right? So let's just go to the, let's try that again right here. ROG Live Surface, right click, uninstall. So we don't want to click this, the make a system restore point before uninstall. That's going to make a backup point. That's, we don't want that because I mean, you could maybe, but we're not. So I'm going to hit continue. What it's going to do, the action is only valid for products that are currently installed. Now you saw that basically what that just said right now is it's not installed, but check this out. The next screen, if we click advanced and then scan, there's a lot of files left behind. And the reason why some of these are red is because they're, they're some of these are showing that installed, not installed. But look at all of the remnants found of just that one Asus folder that I showed. So now we're going to click select all and we're going to click delete. Are you sure you want to delete the selected items? Yes. Now we're going to select all again because now it found the files. That was all registry stuff. Here are the files. Now we'll hit delete again. Are you sure you want to delete the items? Yes. And then we can just repeat that process. So here's the ROG font uninstaller, same exact thing. Don't click restore point, continue. See, again, it thinks it's not installed, right? Because because when I uninstalled the Armory Crate service and the Armory Crate Lite, the Windows is saying, hey, there's the, fold, the program's gone, but not all the files are gone. So here we go, we'll hit okay on that. Advanced, scan, look at all the crap left behind, select all, delete, yes. Select all, delete, yes, done. So now we're gonna do that again for Virtual Pet. Watch, actually Virtual Pet might say it's not uninstalled. Oh yeah, so we can remove. So here's the thing, if it notices that it's installed, it will immediately load its own, own uninstaller because every every like executable, usually in these file structures, have an uninstaller built in for its own program because it knows where to go and grab stuff. It also knows where to leave stuff behind. So we're gonna say remove Virtual Pet. So Revo and Installer is gonna wait for the built-in uninstaller to do its thing. And then once again, we can do advanced scan. And this time it only left files behind. It didn't leave anything in the registry, but we can delete all these files now. Hit yes. And now that's gone. So we'll just do the same thing for, and this is what kind of sucks. Asus calls every one of their like, see, here we go. Not currently installed. Well, you're a big fat liar because watch what it's gonna find. Boom. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at all this registry stuff left behind. So yes, delete. So now I'm gonna uninstall Aura. Now here's the thing, I guarantee you, if you've ever used Asus Aura, you've probably had an issue in the past where something broke in the lighting or it won't work or it won't take effect or whatever. So you uninstall Asus Aura from the ad, ad remove programs and then you reinstall Aura and your problem persists. But that's because of, for lack of a better term, all the files that were left behind are the f***ed up files that's causing your problem. So they're never getting overwritten. So we have to do a clean uninstall here again. It tells us Armory's, or, uh, Aura lighting isn't installed, but yes it is, because look, if your Aura is broken, this is why. There's all these files again left behind for Asus Aura. And each one of these programs have their own registry folders that have a lot of redundancy too. So we'll delete all that crap, delete the leftover folders, and we're done. Now this is something that's actually really nice and really important for um, RGB software other than Asus Aura. So obviously we've got, I installed on here NZXT Cam, I installed Corsair IQ is another big culprit for leaving behind a lot of junk, just a ton of junk. And Asus, uh, or excuse me, Corsair um, IQ is another one of those pieces of software that can get really kind of borked and then reinstalling it doesn't fix it because again, all these files that it leaves behind there. Okay, here's NZXT Cam. So, Check it out, we'll do it again. We'll let it uninstall via its own uninstaller. Cam is currently running, close it. Okay, cool. Look at all the crap it left behind. Cam's not even on the list anymore. So look at all that crap it left behind. There we go, select all, delete, yes. Look at all the files it left behind. This is, this is in my opinion, if you're having a problem with a piece of software and it seems like uninstalling it and reinstalling it isn't fixing your problem, I guarantee it's because there's files left behind. So this is a very powerful piece of software that will probably fix a lot of your maybe RGB problems or any of your like uh, fan controller stuff. Like I'm telling you, this is the, the cleanest way to uninstall it. Now, as you guys know, there's a lot of Windows apps that come kind of bloatwareed up too that you can't get rid of very easily. Um, so for instance, MSI Center, which I installed on here, and you can see here MSI Center right there, That'd be like what you find on a laptop for MSI. Um, if you click up here where it says Windows apps, this will load all the apps that are installed on here and there it is right there. So now we can uninstall. 
same exact way. You can scan for anything left over. Look at all that. Delete. Yes, delete. Select all of those files. Look at all those files. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, 767 megabytes? Yeah. So if you're wondering why you're, even though you're uninstalling programs, you're like, why am I not getting back all my disk space? There you go. So delete that. That one's actually taking the longest to get rid of all those files. That's a gigabyte of left. All right. So that one's saying uh, will be deleted on this next system restart. That's fine. Okay. So what else can we get rid of here if we wanted to like unbloatware stuff? Can we delete Cortana? Oh, <gasps> we can delete Cortana. The next update will just put it back, but. <laughs> Actually, can... No, I think Microsoft's discontinuing it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, so... well, we just discontinued it ourselves. <laughs> All right, Cortana is gone. Sorry, Master Chief. Now, here's the thing. The free version, as you can see right here, it only includes scanning for leftovers and standard un from standard uninstall, eight additional cleaning tools. I'm not sure what those are. I haven't even looked into them. Free professional technical support, whatever. Uh, uninstall Windows apps. Now, if you go to the Pro one, which I don't own, but this goes into like multiple uninstall where you could probably like queue stuff up. Uh, Real-time monitoring, so I don't care about any of the monitoring stuff for live backup, I don't care about any of that crap. Uh, force uninstall, remove remnants of already uninstalled programs. So that is if you've already uninstalled something, it's not gonna show up in that list, right? It, it, if it doesn't see the main executables and stuff in there. But that can go in and do a search for programs that it's finding files for that are already uninstalled, but they're the remnants of it. So the light doesn't do that, like the freeware doesn't do that because it only does it with fully installed programs. So that might be worth it to you for 25 bucks of a one-time deal or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, they didn't sponsor this. The only reason I'm showing this right now is I have seen it too many times in the past where we talk about an amazing piece of free software and then the company gets wind of the fact that we showed it and then there was like 50,000 downloads in two days and they're going to go in and be like, click, we'll undo the uninstall Windows apps. Like they might leave the scanning leftover standard uninstall, but they might undo the Windows apps or something like that. So I'm only saying don't wait that way you don't get screwed by them changing the license later on. So anyway, there you go, guys. Quick, easy Revo uninstaller. I've got to go and do that on my work system. I know I've got a lot of crap left over on that. And this being a test bench, having so many different pieces of software installed on there all the time, uh, I think it's important to be able to use this to clean up the OS without having to do a fresh reinstall every single time. And here's an example, Razer Synapse. You can see there's still an icon sitting here. That means there's still files left behind, but clearly it's not an executable, which is why it's just showing the default icon. This software won't go and find those files and uninstall it because of the fact that it's not the, it's not the, the paid for version. However, what I could do is reinstall Razer Synapse and then uninstall it and let it find everything that way. So if there's a piece of software you know that maybe you think it didn't get everything, just reinstall it, then run the free app, uninstall it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.